after we have created users and groups in Azure AD, it's very easy for us to go and manage the properties of those uh, users and groups. So just to show you there, here we are on portal.azure.com. We're going to click the menu button and go to Azure Active Directory. Uh, and then I'm going to click on the users blade. Of course, here's my users. All right, let's go down to Bob Jones here. I'm going to click on Bob Jones, and you can see all the different uh, properties that are available to us. Okay, now the, the one thing of note here, when you look at Bob Jones information, you will notice that it's got um, a, a bunch of things here I can, I can look at, but I can't really change a, a lot of this stuff unless I actually edit the user's properties. So if I come over here and just click on properties, for example, you'll see all this information, but I need to actually edit in order to, one way to edit is to click the little pencil symbol on any of these, but you can also just click edit properties. And then at that point, you will be able to modify uh, the user's information. Okay, and plug, plug in whatever uh, information here that you want. All right, or to alter, uh, most of this stuff, as you can see, can be altered. Some stuff obviously can't, but most of it can. That's how you're going to edit the uh, the user's properties. And again, I'm not getting into what every single little item is here in this video, but um, I did want to show you how you could edit the user. Okay, you can also click monitoring, and you'll see there's you can see how frequently this user has signed in. Of course, Bob Jones has not signed in yet, so there's nothing really to look at there. Now, as far as groups go, if I come over here to the menu button and I click on uh, Azure Active Directory, and I'm going to click the Groups Blade. Uh, I can go and look at the groups that I've got available. I have uh, the developers group, which is a security group, and it is also a dynamic group. So if I click on developers, you can uh, you can see the information about that group. You can look at the property, the properties of the group. All right, you'll see that there's certain things here I can alter. Um, you'll notice that I can. It lets me switch to a sign group if I want, uh, and then um, I've got the object ID, the roles, talking about what's called write back state, which I'm not getting into what that is. In a nutshell, it involves if you were um, connecting your on-premise Active Directory with Azure AD, you could have groups written back to on-premise Active Directory, but I'm not really getting into the details on that right now. Um, and then dynamic user, um, if I want to look at the, the, the membership rules, I can go over here to dynamic membership rules and I could uh, alter the expressions if I wanted or add more expressions or remove an expression if I want. So all that can be done very easily uh, right through here. You also can see your owner. There is an owner. You can see the members, whatever members. Now if we go back over here to groups again and um, let's go here to help desk because this was a assigned group. Click on help desk. This is where it's kind of basically the same stuff. You um, you can alter the, the same types of stuff. I can go to properties, and if, if I want, I can go and change this to dynamic user, dynamic uh, device. Um, you can't convert it to a Microsoft 365 group. That's one thing you can't do, but uh, you can convert the membership type and all that. All right, um, so you can see the members. If there is any, you can see the owners, if there is any. Um, there's no roles associated with it. You can see administrative units as if it's associated with administrative unit. Uh, and again, not getting into what everything is here, but did want to show you just how you could very easily change the uh, the properties of the group. So all in all, managing uh, user and group properties is, is relatively easy. All you got to do is just go and click on the group and you can alter a lot of the different settings and all of that. And some of the stuff that you, you see here, I'm not getting into it in this video, but you'll you'll We'll come across it maybe later in, uh, in a later video. Hey, this is John Christopher. I hope you enjoyed that video. And I want you to know that I'm trying really hard to grow this channel. So I hope you'll give me a like and a subscribe. Also, if you'll check the description in this video, I've got a link for you that can show you how you can get access to all my different courses. I have lots of different Microsoft certification courses that will help you pass your exam. All right. Thanks a lot for watching the video, and I hope to see you again. <laughs>